everybody, welcome back to Arnold Cart, and in today's video I'm going to be drawing my fifth favorite farm animal. That's a lot of f sounds. Which is the pig. If you want to find out more about my uh, favorite animals on the farm, make sure to stay tuned to the rest of this video to find out more information about that. But first, let's just jump into drawing the pig. Now when I start drawing anything, I look for the shapes that go into building up that drawing. And for the pig, I'm going to use a couple of circle shapes. One circle shape for the head, and then a kind of lima bean or ovally shape for the pig's body. Once I have those two shapes in there, and you can kind of see they're a little bit overlapped there, I'm gonna add in the neck, which really doesn't, there's no definition between the neck, the, the body just kind of goes into the head. So you'll see, I'll just bring those lines up for the head. Now for the feet, I'm gonna make it really simple, and I'm just going to indicate them first with little sticks, like you're drawing a stick pig instead of a stick man. So I'm gonna draw the shape of the front legs out once I have them where I like them. I will then thicken them up a little bit and then go into adding the hoof detail. Now they are cloven hooved, that means that they have like hoof toes. Unlike a horse who, that has just the one, you know, shape for their hoof. There are a lot of animals like cows and deer and pigs, goats, you probably can name a bunch of them, that their hooves are split in the middle kind of to give them a little bit more traction. And uh, so they're, they're little, little piggy toes. This little piggy went to market. <laughs> Now the back leg is going to be just a little bit different than the front leg because it's drawn on the back side. Also, it's a little bit thicker up towards the rump area. It's a little bit more meatier and then comes down and just like the front leg is going to be that cloven little toe there. Now if you've watched any of my tutorial videos, you will know I love using reference photos for drawing. It's great to be able to draw from life, but don't be afraid to change things up. You'll notice in my pig drawing, as opposed to the you know, the picture of the pig, the pig's head's up a little bit higher, it's looking around a little bit. That adds a little personality and uniqueness. The ears are represented by these kind of rounded triangle shapes. And the eyes are set towards the sides of the face. This is because this is a prey animal, not a predator. And you'll find that most prey animals have their eyes towards the sides of their face so they have a more peripheral vision so they can see things sneaking up behind them to munch on them. Where prey animals have their eyes, like wolves and cats, set more towards the front of their face so they can have really good focused vision on that. So there's a little science for you. One of my favorite things about the pig, I think it's my favorite thing about the pig, is the pig nose. I love the pig nose, and certain pigs have more of a defined pig nose than others, so check out those reference photos. Some have more of a pointy little tip to their nose, some are more rounded. I kind of draw mine like a weird upside down heart shape, and then add in the little nostrils. And the mouth just fits in right underneath there, and pretty much that's the pig face. I'm just gonna go back in and add a few wrinkle details around the eyes and then erase the lines that I don't need. Now, I know sometimes in my tutorial drawing videos, I can draw a little bit faster than some people would like and and I, I understand that and I try to go slow, <laughs> I try. So if at any point I start drawing too fast for you guys, just hit that pause button or if there's something that you didn't see, you can rewind this video and rewatch that part over. Well, we have missed one thing on our pig. Can you guys, have you guys guess what that is? Actually, our reference photo didn't show it, but I love, second favorite thing about pigs is I love their little pig tails. So I'm gonna make a little curly Q tail for the pig and yeah, our pig is done. I'm gonna quickly ink this in. I definitely do not draw this fast. This is sped up here. So I'm gonna go ahead and color this in, but I wanna give you guys a couple of hints on getting better with your drawing. And I say this a lot, but I'm gonna say it again in this video. And that's when you learn to draw something, like we've learned to draw this cute little pig. Once you draw it one time, don't just be like, that's it, yeah, I know how to draw it. Now comes the time where you wanna practice it. Practice drawing pigs. And you can draw this same exact pig over and over and over and over again. But I encourage you, once you get good at drawing this pig, 
Then try to draw tons of other pigs, but change them up a little bit. Change the direction that you draw them. Change the style that you might draw them. So some of the pigs might be more realistic. Some might be more illustrated. Some might be super cute and tiny and fun. But the more you draw, the more you create, the better you're going to get. And don't worry about messing up. Messing up is part of learning. It's okay. I mess up all the time. But I said earlier in this video, this is my fifth favorite farm animal. People ask me all the time, Valerie, what is your favorite animal? And I can't pick just one animal. I have tons of different animals and I have to separate them into categories. So this is in the farm animal category and this is my fifth favorite. So I have four others that I have. I have my fourth favorite, my third favorite, my second favorite, and my first favorite. If you guys would like to see what my favorite animals are, let me know first by giving this video a huge thumbs up and let me know if you'd like to see a video where I draw my other four favorite farm animals and I uh, will see about making more tutorials about this. So thank you guys for hanging out with me in this video and until next time, keep drawing, God bless you guys, and we'll see you in another art video. Bye-bye.